Hello! Welcome to the Lumos Learning video sampler for grade 3. My name is Luis Anthony Ast. I am a professional mathematics tutor, and I'm here to show you how easy math can be. I will be going over select questions from the diagnostic test, and it's provided online and in print form. When each question is presented in the video, I want you to pause it right after the choices of A, B, C, and D are listed. Try to answer the question and then press play to see the correct answer and my explanation. Now, let's get started. Which of these expressions has a difference greater than 50? The correct answer is D, 100 minus 48. The way you get this is that difference means subtraction, which we can see here. So just evaluate, just perform the subtraction on each of these. And I do that over here. A gives me exactly 50, but I want greater than 50. B and C gives you values that are less than 50. Only D has a value that's greater than 50. Which of these shapes has exactly two lines of symmetry? The answer is going to be D. The reason for that is that A has three lines of symmetry. B has eight, C has four, and D has the two lines of symmetry. Which point is located at three comma one? point you're looking for is point B, which is choice B. How do we find it? First off, realize that the coordinates 3, 1 mean X movements and Y movements. X represents horizontal movement. This is the X axis. The Y movement is the second part, which is vertical. So you're going to start off at 0, 0. You're going to go three steps or units or squares to the right. One, two, three. And the one tells you you can go one unit upward. What? So that is point B. Pencils are sold in packages of 12. If Mark needs 48 pencils, how many packages should he buy? The correct answer is D, four packages. How can we get that? Well, first off, we know that there's 12 pencils in one package. Oh, wait a minute. If there's 12 in one package, well, it can't be B, so you can cross that out. It can't be C, two packages, cross that out, that's just 24. The answer must be either A or D. How can you figure that out? Well, go 12 times six, well, that's 72, it's too much, so it has to be D. Or you can actually go 12 times 4, 48, ah, so it has to be D. Anthony left for school with $2.75 in his pocket. Along the way, eight dimes fell out of his pocket. How much money did he have when he arrived at school? Anthony's going to have $1.95 left in his pocket when he arrived in school. So the answer is D. If 
By the way, you can actually eliminate one of these choices if you think about the fact that if you start off with $2.75 and you lose eight dimes, there's no way you're going to have $2.67 in your pocket. That means you've lost a few pennies along the way. That didn't happen, so you can cross that out if need be. Now, how can we actually get this answer? Well, he loses eight dimes. One dime is 10 cents. We can write it in this form. So 10 cents times eight is 80 cents. So let's subtract that from the money he had to start off with. So you have $2.75 to start off with. Take away, we're gonna put this in dollar form because the first amount is in dollar form. When we do the subtraction, you're gonna get 1.95, which is $1.95. Donna must practice her violin for 30 minutes each day. If she starts practicing at 7.50 p.m., when should she stop? The answer is B, 8.20 p.m. Now, are there any answers you could eliminate right away? Mm. How about D, 8 p.m.? That's too close to 8.50, I think. So I, I would not guess that because you're going 30 minutes for practice. How can you actually do this? Well, how about visualizing a clock? You have 7.50 on here, and you want to add 30 minutes to this. An easy way of doing that is first add 10 to get exactly 8 o'clock. 10 minutes plus 20 minutes is 30 minutes. So if we go 20 minutes past that, that's going to be our answer, 8.20 p.m. Which of these units should be used to measure the height of a flagpole? I would say the best choice is D, yards. Now, were you able to eliminate any of the choices while you were solving this? How about B, pounds? Pounds is not a unit of length. It's of weight, for example, of how heavy someone is. What? Just kidding. So let's take a look at the others. Let's pretend that this is a flagpole. I want to figure out what is its height. Would miles be a good choice? It's too long a unit of measurement for something like this. We use miles, for example, to measure distance between cities. What about inches? Well, you can. For example, if I had a rule like this. I With inches on it, yeah, I can measure, but it's too small. You would have way too many inches on this thing. What about yards? Oh, well, here's a yardstick. Could I use this to measure how tall this flagpole is? Well, yeah, if I you know, start on the bottom, it's going to measure one yard, two yards, three, and so on. It seems reasonable to use this unit of length. So that's why I think D is the best choice. That was the last problem for this video. Don't worry, if you visit LumusTestPrep.com, you can find hundreds of additional ones. Mm -hmm.